behind the burn pile. This has never been rototilled. Uh, Jonathan and William and I were out here pulling tansy late in the summer. Uh, but if you can see, this is oats again. And then I put, uh, I think here I just did clover. Ah, uh, no, there's some Austrian pea right there. The big little round seed, if you can see them. So, this is brand new. And then over here, when we catch it at a little bit of an angle, you can see, well, the sun's in it, but anyway. So this is brand new. So this would be the oat. And uh, Austrian pea. And then over here, horse section for the first time ever plowed. Their back, their back section, you can see it's sectioned off. See that big patch of green right there? That's Italian rye. It's supposed to be a great winter forage. So this section and behind the trees right there, if you can see, that's been plowed for the first time, seeded. Now this doesn't get great sun right here. Um, but you can see that that's the Italian rye. So the horses will get to graze this minimally. And then, uh, you know, for a couple hours and then back off. I put more rye over here and there's clover. There's clover with all of this. I don't see the clover coming up as well. This was red clover and then uh, in the back back because I'd run out of the Italian rye and the this is the Italian rye. Really cool. Um, but through here, a couple days later, I planted just regular annual rye. Not so specific as the Italian rye plus white clover. And the white clover was really kicking it in.